Hello friends how are you all hope all are doing great today i am excited to share a unique and extreme living hall makeover with you featuring lots of makeover tips and DIYs please stay until the end to see the final look i promise it will be truly beautiful and inspiring the living room is a space where all family members gather to watch television chit chat and entertain guests Our living hall is rectangular in shape. One side of the living room is arranged with a traditional touch and I have not used expensive items. Every item bought was reasonably priced. You can use wall hangings or paintings. Usually I don't buy any because I love painting. This painting I did 22 years ago in my high school days. If you prefer you can buy some simple paintings. The four corners of this living hall are especially arranged with some DIYs. In the first corner, my daughter's old bicycle is turned into a showpiece and the video is on my channel. These flowers are from a local shop. These baskets help hide extra stuff in the hall. Let me arrange this wall first with two DIYs. I made this painting after 20 long years. In my high school days, I was painting out of my interest and without attending any classes. And at that time there was no YouTube as well. This painting I completed in 5 days and of course in the early mornings and evenings after completing all the household chores. Please let me know what you think of this painting. The frame and the picture light were gifts from my husband. Lighting always changes the ambience of a place. I made this planter a long time ago with PVC pipe painted it to look like a wood and planted indoor plants like zizi and money plant in it In the second corner I used vertical wall shelves from IKEA they were originally grey but i spray painted them white to match the theme these shelves are very useful in showcasing various decor items adding uniqueness to the hall 
Now I will show you a quick DIY frames using Macrim thread. And not this, a quick and easy beautiful DIYs. I am tying this artificial flower to this speaker. Later I'll tell you why. See, I am hiding this speaker to avoid visual disturbance. Isn't it a beautiful idea? One tip is to use three items in one shelf and vary the height of the decor pieces. These small cane baskets serve as storage. So far I am using our old sofa but changing its cover. I didn't get proper cushion covers initially but I added them two days later. I also love to add green plants wherever possible. I fill the water in my DIY waterfall. Please check the making of this fabulous DIY through the link in the description. The next thing is carpets. I am arranging the other side of the living hall in a contemporary style. The center table features a plant but you can decor it in many other ways. I kept it simple. Now let's take a look at the final view of the makeover. My living hall makeover includes a personal touch in every corner which brings satisfaction. The rhythm takes over, no to rest. My heart's dancing, it's a love conquest. Heartbeat, yeah, it's 
Sometimes I use essential oil in the diffuser for a nice aroma. The combination of a nice aroma, a waterfall, natural green plants, candles, lights and beautiful decor pieces creates a beautiful, calm and soothing ambience. I have put my best effort into this makeover. How are you feeling? Please comment below and if you have any suggestions, please share them with me. I hope you found many tips for decorating a living area and got plenty of decorating ideas. Don't forget to comment, like, share with family and friends and if you have not subscribed yet, please do so for more such videos. Your motivation means a lot to me. A big thank you for watching until here. See you in the next interesting video. Until then, take care, be happy and bye-bye. You're the one I turn to in every single way with you.